I mean, look, I mean, you, you mentioned the teams with smaller squads. I mean, Dean Smith was quoted this week saying it's lunacy. You know, that under these circumstances, we've got to play on the 26th uh, and the 28th. And he was one of those with one of the smaller squads. And, and Antonio Conte came out after the Premier League meeting on Thursday and said, you have a wall in front of you. You can speak and ask what you want. But every decision has been taken. Do you think that the Premier League maybe are not listening closely enough? Well, they're clearly not listening. That's The managers have made it clear what they what they wanted. They wanted change. And, and we talk about us being to end on the... Just before the show, when you go through... 26-28 for me as a player and the intensity of game is so hard. We know as as, as fans and, and pundits, now you're, you're not in there as a player. But what it takes out of you, 26-28, is... We did it as players. It's so hard. We didn't have the pandemic of COVID hit us. Uh, and I've just said it there, Jeff, so I do apologise. Um, it's so hard for them. It's, it's in the group. Squads are a lot smaller now because injuries and, and what have you. So they're having to deal with it. And the managers have put that across to the Premier League and they haven't listened. I mean, look, we, we know it's... We want everyone's the football on. We, w- we want it on, yeah. of course we do. We but have to have it on. We want to we watch it, but yeah. the safety and the management of players... And, and this is where it comes to what the guys have said about the, the size of the squads. The biggest squad is going to benefit without a shadow of a doubt. For me, Man City has got the best, because whoever plays, whoever comes in is, is far superior. The, the lower teams, they've got no chance. They have got no chance. The size of the squads are small anyway. You've got injuries, you've got COVID, you've got the game that's coming up. The games will never change because it's always been so many games in a short period of time over Christmas, and that's what they have to deal with. But I think just in this pandemic, in this moment of time, they just have to take on board what people and managers and the players are saying, take on board whether they make a decision which they've made, but we're not in a normal scenario at the moment. Things have changed. We're, we're in an absolute disaster at the time. But like you say, it has to, for me, has to keep going as much as we can because the backlog of games, mm-hmm. how are we ever going to get the season finished if we shut it down for two or three weeks to try and stop that? They've got, oh, the managers then will complain, Jeff. We go in Saturday or Sunday... Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. So you're going to have more injuries then. It's never going to change. It's just having to manage it. It's, a, it's a vicious circle at the it's moment. It's a massive vicious circle, Jeff. Jeff. I mean, even last week, the Villa game, you know, how late they left that. You know, there's travelling fans. There's yeah. pe- there's, it's not just club like, players and, and staff that are suffering. It's people that are spending money to go to games, to, to, to get excited about these situations. Even the Spurs, I mean... I looked at the at Twitter and, and whatnot last night just to see if the game... And it, it was it was in limbo. So, you know, these people are planning their festive period to, to go to games. Why is there not something in, in place, you know, to... But, but the, the difficulty is, Lee, isn't it, is you can take a lateral flow test on yeah. Friday, uh, you know, and have <laughs> yeah. no issue, and then on Saturday, yeah. test yeah. positive, and that, that's why things are being called off so late, I guess. Yeah. I think, though, with that one, Jeff, you talk about the fans have people going down from, from the north. They, you now... As not a player, that's what we... You see what people do to get to games. I think that has to be taken into consideration. I did, and I'm glad you clarified that the, the Spurs-Palace game's going yeah, to be Villa on. The game was only off because I mean? he got it off. <laughs> <laughs> Two and, out, and a half hours. And it's <laughs> nothing to do with you-know-what. He just <laughs> couldn't make the game. And I know we're, it's completely <laughs> different now, Jeff, but I do think the day before, whatever team has to go out there, because you've got to think of supporters, you really do. And probably when I was a player, you, you realise the effort that these guys go to to get there. But even more now, I'm really seeing it. It's, it's so hard for the money that they're spending, credit to them. The will will follow the teams. Mm. I mean, uh, uh, Matt Murray, oh, actually, as a former goalkeeper, I'm not sure why I'm asking you this. Um, <laughs> but but, but Jordan, Jordan Henderson, he said this week, he's concerned. You know, we're not just about the fans, but he's concerned about player welfare uh, as well. And on a serious point, I guess he's not just talking about the physical impact on player welfare, but the mental impact on player welfare as well. Does he have a point? Yeah, he does have a point. And as much as players earn hundreds of thousands of pounds a week now sometimes in the Premier League, it's still very, very difficult because they've got families, they've got loved ones, everything else. So they have to go back and there's a concern. So when you walk in in the morning to the, to the stadium, so those Villa players, I totally get what Dorse and the guys are saying and the fans are travelling. But still for those players, if you know five or six people are testing positive you're going to be thinking, well, I've got to sit by you in the dressing room more. Have I got it? And I think Steven Gerrard talked about a player not wanting to get out of his car. So it's very unknown for the players. It's very hard for the academies to step up. I know a lot of young players at the moment, and they've shut the academies down early because they're trying to keep the bubbles. So they don't want players. And then suddenly five or six seniors go out. Then you have to bring these players in from the academy. I think Chelsea had a couple of players play, and he'd hardly had two training sessions with the first team. So it's so difficult. It's unprecedented. It's you don't know. But for the players, yeah, I think physically, yes, it's very, very tough. 
especially the way the teams play now, the high intensity teams like Leeds, Liverpool, the way they play is just, you know, it's immense. And then, yeah, the mental side of it, what, what you know, they don't want to put their families at risk, themselves at mm. risk. A lot of some players are vaccinated, some aren't. There's so many things going on and, you know, and then everyone's learning as they go along. But at the same time, it's an amazing brand product that the Premier League bring and everyone wants to play and watch it. But it, it, it's really, really difficult. And all the arguments that are going on, I don't know. But even the five subs, I think that would be big to help. And I know that, again, it might disadvantage the smaller squads. But still, if you just bring in players on with fresh legs, just stick to the tactics, that might help. So there's so many things going on. But yeah, I do think it is very, very difficult mentally for the players as well.